Her greetings to all, and happy channel return. We'll go over everything that happened in the AMC stock and our wider markets today in this video, with a focus on what's likely to happen tomorrow. Two significant occurrences your bank's lockout is softly ending. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons in addition to subscribing to the channel we have our work cut out for us in this one. I'll explain why you have CPI, which is definitely a huge event, and why that's a major event. Yes, and this isn't exactly a positive sign for the Bulls fans out there. I appreciate you viewing, and now let's get going. As I said in the previous video, AMC stock did pretty well today, especially in light of the fact that the Russell 2000 index underperformed. The fact that AMC can behave independently of the Russell or even the larger markets is one thing that strikes me as noteworthy. Another is that the Russell's underperformance was precisely what one would anticipate from a CPI report that was hotter than anticipated. These things don't happen very frequently, but they can. Maybe this is a precursor to a poor CPI report, or maybe it's just pre-CPI anxiety. In other words, there was a fair amount of hedging activity, presumably for tomorrow in the markets today in the SP500, so a little bit of risk getting priced into the markets, which he really hasn't seen in a while with the VIX being under 20 for a very long time. The Russell was down about 0.5%, the Nasdaq was down about 0.3%, the SP was down 0.2%, and the Dow was pretty much break even on the day. I recall that in 2022, the VIX was kind of randomly fluctuating. If the VIX dropped to 20, it would be a good time to buy. That didn't happen very often in 2022, but if it did drop to 20, you would buy something. If it dropped to 30, you would sell something, as there would be less hedging activity and therefore a stronger, better market at that point. Now that the VIX is at 15 and has been below 20 for a while, you haven't seen a lot of volatility. So this week is the week that that happens. To give you a quick rundown, NVIDIA had a significant drop on Friday. Since it is down 1% today as well, NVIDIA is once again in decline. However, SoftBank owns almost 90.5% of ARM's outstanding shares, therefore tomorrow will be a major catalyst for your stocks of semiconductors and artificial intelligence. Considering that there are only 94 million shares in trading at the moment, and that SoftBank has attempted in vain to sell 929 million shares, that is a significant amount. Tomorrow is their chance to make a face-to-face -face sale of ARM, and they probably will, which is why the stock is down 3% today, and probably the reason semiconductors perform poorly. The real test will be tomorrow and Friday. If SoftBank does sell a lot of ARM stocks, which is expected to cause them to collapse, your other semiconductor and AI-related stocks will be liquidated by the algorithms. I think that this is a big catalyst for semis and AI-related names right now because NVIDIA and these other say semi names have recently driven up the market so much that it may also become a bigger issue for the broader markets at the same time that it could be beneficial for small map stocks. Tomorrow, the arm might rise in a different universe, though I don't think that's likely. According to my estimation, there is a 5% chance and most likely a 95% chance that the arm will climb noticeably higher. At this time, not many people are even thinking about the arm lockup expiry tomorrow. What I have to say is that, while it will likely be a negative trigger, that can and will be a large one. Arm dumps the CPI report will be out tomorrow morning like a rock. Many individuals pay attention to core inflation as it is calculated month after month. Many others simply said that was the first time prices had increased this year when you came in at 0.4% last month. People basically explained it away as an anomaly in the CPI data for January if the reading for February is 0.4 or higher. That calls for more research. It's fine if you reach the predicted level of 0.3, if not, it's not good. That is inadequate. It's excellent news if you close below that, and I think the small and mid-cap companies will do much better. 0.3 it's difficult to predict how the markets will react. If that number rises to 0.4% or more, it will undoubtedly be negative news moving forward. The CPI for the previous month was 3.9. You anticipate 3.7% this month for the month of February. Month over month, the headline came in at 0.3% last month, this month, this month. You're actually expecting it to go to 0.4. This could also be a problematic area of the report if your headline CPI accelerates which is frequently what the algorithms pick up on. In particular, your headline year-over-year year is expected to be at about 3.1, which was the same as last month. The headline CPI is not expected to improve at all, if that happens. Great if not, well, you'll have to excuse yourself and deal with a little issue tomorrow at noon. Additionally, a 10-year bond auction will take place. I will also be keeping an eye on and paying attention to this coming tomorrow because these 10-year bond auctions have a history of causing significant market movements. 
the neutral set sentiment for AMC's stock on stock twits increased from 56 to 54 yesterday, suggesting that everything is going well for the company. The participation ratio was at 56 today, up from 55 yesterday, and the message volume was at 44 yesterday, down from 40. You know, my CPI projections are actually a little surprising coming into these big catalysts tomorrow. Sincerely, I think this is probably quite accurate. I don't think I would deviate from these estimates all too much. I, I really don't think you're going to have a big outlier here. If anything, headline CPI could go up at least a little bit. Gas has been uh, going up quite a bit. Uh, pace. Um, you know core CPI could have come in at 0.4% again, sure. I don't think it's a fair assumption to say January CPI was super high because if you know one-time price increases, some companies may wait till February to do those price increases right. Uh, instead of shocking people right after they get done with Christmas and raising prices, some companies opt to for February to start raising prices. So I, I, I don't know if you can say that last month's CPI gain on your core was, was just seasonally affected. Maybe that turns out to be the case. But if not, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm not that optimistic heading into tomorrow's CPI report. I don't. I think you're going, going to get a big um, surprise, a big bullish surprise to the downside. If anything, there's a potential for an upside surprise in CPI. Um, if I were to put you know my statistics hat on, so that is uh, definitely a little bit of a problem now, the soft arm, the arm soft banks, non-expiration. That could also be a big problem for your AI stocks, as the market has been moving higher lately due to strong momentum. You'll run into serious problems if that momentum wanes, and to be honest, Nidia is down only 0.89% today. I speculated that there might be a lot more NVIDIA blackouts. The significant drop that some had anticipated for today did not occur. Many, I believe, are simply waiting for the ARM lockout to end tomorrow, which will likely result in a more significant move by NVIDIA for the ARM of Intel SMCI Broadcom. Marvel Dell nowadays for all of these semiconductor AI-related stocks, now again AMC stock, is up 2.5% today, doing fantastic, and there's really no rhyme or reason for this um, besides the Oscars over this weekend. In the box office, there's also a lot of films going to theaters that uh, were talked about at, at the Oscars in, in terms of uh, uh, 2024 is going to be a lot better than uh, 2023 was um, just the amount of movies going to theaters. So I think that may have markets a little bit more optimistic about AMC today. But, uh, you know, does this last, I, I think, is the real question. And I can't say for certain that you know this green that we've seen lately with AMC is going to last. It depends what Adam Aaron does. If we get dilution, it depends on CPI, it depends on the arm lockup period, how all of these different events go over in the markets, now the percent of stocks today. Above their 50-day moving average is up 1.02% to 57.87%, so that looks pretty good there, but still you're way off of your high at about 86%. But again, if CPI does come in better than expected, I would think you would see a large rally in your uh, interest rate sensitive names you're small. And your mid capap stock. So there is that. Remember, I don't know. I can't stop yawning. Um, stock of tracker data for AMC stock. Remember, there's a lot of option activity this week as well. Um, and there's a lot of potential for volatility if we look specifically at the options chain for AMC this week. Well, let's pull up AMC for this week. You do have a lot of option activity. So at the 450 call, about 15,000 for open interest. Again, keep in mind that 10,000 for open interest is equivalent to market makers having to buy 1 million shares. You do have calls in the money at about 4,700 calls out of the money at about 264,000 puts in the money at about 33,000 and puts out the money at about 111,000. Since 20,000 for open interest is equal to 2 million shares, market makers would have to buy 24,000 for open interest or about 1.5 million shares at the 450-450 call. At the $5 call, market makers would have to buy 2.4 million shares at the 550 call about 8,000 or about 800,000 shares, and at the $6 call, market makers would have to buy an additional 2.4 million shares. Although I wouldn't rule out a significant increase in AMC stock this week, betting on anything related to AMC earnings is always a foolish idea. Aaron Adam, you simply never know. In fact, if tomorrow's results are better than anticipated in AMC and other interest rate-sensitive small makeup stocks rally, there's a good chance that they will break above 450 and gain significant momentum pushing the market up to $5 per share, and, if that level is reached, for roughly $6 per share. The people running AMC's management have a highly inconsistent approach to stock. However, a lot of the options chain's positioning for this week is shown here, raising the question, is there anyone out there who knows anything? Will AMC's stock price rise this week? That's exactly how I feel. It is evident from looking at TLT that it is now positive, indicating a slight decline in long-term rates. Recently, the value of the dollar has decreased. I should really go take a nap. 
the dollar has lost almost 1% of its value today. A stronger dollar is usually a good thing. Gold has increased in price by 0.15%. Gold is having an amazing Friday. Ever since February 20th, gold has seen many days of unprecedented prosperity. Conversely, on March 3rd, the price of gold increased from 1,188,189 to around 202. This raises the question of why someone would still be concerned about purchasing gold at a time when markets are at record highs and Bitcoin is doing well. Given that gold seldom moves above 70 on the RSI, it might be signaling an imminent market decline. In addition, gold has gained 20% since November, a very unusual trend. While the markets were tanking on Friday, gold did begin to rally. This concludes our video. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think of the content. Another area of concern is gold and other safe haven items. If something goes wrong this week, I would be watching AMC at $4 per share, which is your target price. Down, I appreciate you seeing, and I hope you will post a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one, and enjoy the rest of your day.